Hey guys, it's Doom49, and I wanted to show you guys what the future of Battlefield is going to look like. More than likely, it's probably going to be live service because everybody that's a studio making games loves the live service idea. And this is a graphic by Spectra Voodoo. You might be wondering, what's the point of this? Well, it shows you what a premium type of game looks like and what a live service type of game looks like. Because we've had premium in Battlefield 1 and look at the amount of content we got from the base game to the extra maps that we got throughout all of premium. And then look at the live service from Battlefield 5 and 2042. It's pretty much the exact same amount of maps that were given. Granted, Battlefield 5 and 2042 were both pretty bad games when they launched and throughout their life cycles, so they didn't really give much attention to it, and more so 2042 spent most of their live service on fixing up the game. So I, you know, when we heard of live service, we thought live service was going to be get everything you get from premium, but you don't got to pay the price and they'll still give you all that great content. And boy were we wrong. It's all about money at the end of the day, and if they're not making the money, the less content comes in. <laughs> that's that's pretty much what you can conclude in all of this, because look at Battlefield 5. Look at the amount of content we got on that and the amount of content we got with Battlefield 2042. And if any of you guys have still been playing Battlefield 2042, it is such a drag just to get some content to have some things to play. Whereas with the premium package with Battlefield 1, we had a lot of content and I'm talking like it felt like almost consistently a lot of new maps because I remember whenever a premium DLC would drop I think you got like three or four new maps and you got a bunch of different weapons to play with and a bunch of different uh, gadgets and I think specialists or whatever they called them that would come in now at the end of the day it was really good and I think they even brought in new behemoths so it was a really good price the only problem with that was people were complaining that oh with the premium package it was segregating the community because there would only be people who buy the base game and not the premium so the premium part didn't get that many players in it and we thought well to fix all this give us live service that will give us all that content and everything and boy were we wrong now i'm i'm, I'm really hoping that the new live service that comes out with this new battlefield 2025 is going to have all the great content you could get with a dlc but none of that attention needed to fix the maps like they did in battlefield 2042 like just get it right the first time i mean look at battlefield one did they ever have to go back and fix any of the maps before no they didn't and this was on a premium package and then we got a lot of great content so it's like wasted resources on fixing things they should have got right on the first time you know what i mean and honestly at this point 20, battlefield 2025 is going to be so like picked at by everybody for the littlest things that i'm even worried that they're going to try to please everyone again like they did with Battlefield 2042 and then they please nobody by doing that. So they'll lose the vision, the vision of what they want to do in this new game. So ultimately, all I'm trying to get at is live service could, and I mean this as could, work because look at Rainbow Six Siege. That game's been out for like, what, 10 years now? And it's been pure live service, consistently getting the content, consistently getting the updates, and it feels good. And people still keep coming back to it from time to time to time, and they're having a good time. I don't know if this is the vision EA and DICE had for any of their future Battlefield games, but I sure as heck hope it does something like this for this next Battlefield game. Because if it doesn't, and then we're back to another situation like we did with Battlefield 5 in 2042. You can be sure as heck expecting to get just as much a little content as you see in this picture. And the game's going to die in probably a whole franchise because everybody is on their last straw. I mean, some people have already given up, to be honest with you. A lot of people have already given up with DICE and what they could do. But ultimately, I mean, when you when you really think about it, guys, I think we I got to ask you guys the question. Do you guys want a premium package again or do you want a live service? And do you think they could probably do a live service properly or do you think it's going to be all wrong? I don't know. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. You guys let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this, please drop a like and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.